Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the thoughts on the header. And, um, man, where to begin? Real quick, uh, right now it's driving fine. Uh, no issues whatsoever, of course. As you know, I loaded up the uh, header calibration on there. So everything runs fine, runs normal, it's great. Uh, as far as performance gains, uh, before I ordered the header, I always read online and you know try to get some, you know some uh, some people's feedback and see how they describe the um, the performance gain out of it and the feeling of the car and all that. So uh, one thing I noticed is uh, there really wasn't really much excitement after they installed the header. Uh, everyone that I, I've read online or the forums always said, "Oh yeah, you know." You can feel a difference or you can definitely there, there's a definite uh improvement but i don't know how much i gained uh, after realizing realizing that and you know figure about a week or two now since i've installed the header uh, i share the same enthusiasm you can definitely tell that there's a an improvement i just don't know how much because it doesn't feel like as much of a you don't get as much gains as it's hyped out to be on getting a header and all that stuff um, now I'm speaking this uh, based on my experience on daily driving um, comparing this uh, with my last supercharger and all that NVIDIA claims they dyno 20 at the wheels horsepower on a bone stock 8th gen this was back when they released the header. Sure, I probably believe it, you know. It just doesn't feel like it though. I think a lot of that has to do with um, the torque gains that you get. So it's kind of like you don't feel that power pulling you. It's just kind of like that torque uh, feeling where it's just kind of like just, it just lifts you along. Uh, so you don't really feel that pulling anymore, but it does feel m way better on top after 6,000 RPM. Six, seven thousand RPMs, where you can definitely notice it. You can definitely notice it driving uh, at at, um, at the higher gears. Uh, you know, the top of fourth, top of fifth gear. You definitely feel it there. It still, it still keeps going. It still wants to keep going. But daily driving in mid range, I mean, it's 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 there. It's noticeable. It's just not as exciting as I thought it would be, or as I hoped it would be. Uh, I remember one guy telling me, "Yeah, you know, I got the." Um, I upgraded to the uh, what kind of intake was was it? I forgot what intake it was. I think it was like the um, Skunk 2 intake or something like that, or the I don't know some other intake. And he had the Nvidia header in the Q300, and he's like, "Yeah, you'll be happy with it." And I'm over here thinking, "Oh, okay." So you know, some people dyno pretty well with these mods, and uh, if he says I'll be happy with it, I might be happy with it. But um. Not as happy as I thought I would be, as I hoped I would be. I guess it's because I'm, I'm always comparing it to the supercharger. And keep in mind, last time I just had the Q300, a Strup header or DC header, and a CT Engineering Stage One supercharger kit with the CT and Honda Reflash. Put about 250 horsepower at the wheel on a Mustang Dyno, and <clears throat> and. Um, it felt great uh, as a daily driver it felt great um, hauling the kids around hauling the family around at the time it was great um, but it's not enough right now I have to say it, it's just not enough intake header exhaust and flash pro base calibration it's just not enough on on, on daily driving um, I think I'm just kind of looking for that um that excitement as i had last time and i can't i, I, sh I don't know if i should be like that or shouldn't be like that because i want to have the same experience as my last eighth gen but i have to keep in mind that uh, you know my, my build progress it's 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 still in the works it's still you know it's still in the early stages i guess um sort of i guess so 
I was trying to think around like, hey, you know, how can I bring back some of that low or low end um, torque or low end power or whatever. So I figured, hey, you know what? I still have all my other parts. Why don't we just play around with it? Let's just see what happens. Let's look to see. Um, I have my stock intake. I have the k filter. I have the HPS hose. Let's just play around with it. Let's see what feels better for me. Let's 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 continue this road of discovery and see what's good for me. Um, you know, see what's good for my daily driving. See what, what what will work for me. And you know, when the opportunity comes to make it better or make it feel better, um, let's jump on it and let's see how it goes. So let's continue. Uh, let's continue the build. Let's continue the progress. Let's continue the uh, the journey and let's see where we go so right now of course i have flash pro i have the um intake header calibration loaded let's see if we can play around with putting the stock intake back on stock airbox canon filter and let's see what would work hps hose or stock intake tube i don't know who knows but Let's see what will work. Let's see what will give me um, some better uh, low-end response, low-end torque. Um, let's see if we can bring some of that back because I know some of it was, um, you know, there's hardly any improvements on bottom end. So let's try it out. Um, if anyone's had similar experience, if the header gains weren't as much as you thought it was going to be, as much as everyone hyped it, hypes it out to be, let me know. Share your thoughts, please. Um, I'm kind of I'm trying to get some feedback. I'm you know I'm I'm trying to keep this eighth gen community going and alive, uh, especially if we have any newcomers or any people that just got their eighth gen recently. I know you can get these really cheap right now. They're very very good cars. Very very fun platform to work with and drive and all that stuff. But let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, but don't worry. Um, as I'm waiting for my other header, the pseudo header with the high flow cat. Um, I'm still gonna make a video on the NVIDIA header and exhaust um, sound and all that and acceleration, but uh, just want to let you guys know um, my thoughts on I guess the gains on the header. So let's keep let's keep playing around with it. Let's figure it out and uh, let's see what works for me. Anyone has any ideas? Let me know later.